From starting out on a 32-foot carver and living on it for the summer, spending plenty of time with my friends, to working and now living on a 40-foot Bestway trawler. Stay tuned as I continue to fix up and one day, hopefully, toss the lines. I'm Tucker, and this is Trashy Tuckers. Good morning, everyone. It's about uh, 9 o'clock on a Monday here at Catmore. It's supposed to be a pretty nice day today. Sun hasn't quite made its mind up on whether or not it's going to come out. Uh, goal for today, take off the satellite dish and the radar. Um, probably try and rip those wires out so I can get all that stuff cleaned up. It's down in the uh, compartment. Might work on the motors a little bit. I gotta change the impellers. It's not quite sure. I'm just gonna. We'll do stuff as I uh, as I figure out. But yeah. Besides taking that stuff off, I don't really have a plan. I'm just gonna do stuff as I see. So stay tuned. It's taking too long. I'm gonna go get the battery off. All right, well, power drill is unavailable, so I used the screwdriver like a peasant. But it would have been very boring to watch, even with the time lapse. So I got that off. It's all sitting down there. I don't know if I can reuse that or not with the holes drilled in it. We'll see. But yeah. Now it's time to work on this one. I got that off. All I gotta do now is get rid of all these wires that are running every which way. But before I do that, I gotta clean up all my crap from today and yesterday. That way I have a better workspace. So let's do that real quick. 2,000 years later. All right, guess what? All that footage was from uh, two weeks ago. Uh, this video is going to have no continuity whatsoever. It is now 25 degrees out. I'm pretty cold right now. So the goal today is going to be to get this thing over to the fuel dock, pump it out one last time before they winterize the pump out station. And then i got to go up to some store and get 40 gallons of antifreeze because i got to do both my engines, the AC and the generator. 
So that's probably going to cost a good bit. But yeah, that's the goal for today. All right, just went up to AutoZone, got 38 gallons of antifreeze. Actually, had a decent deal going for uh, six dollars a gallon, but if I bought the whole case, can ten percent off, so can't beat that. I think it came out like two hundred sixteen dollars, which is less than I thought I was going to spend. So, but got the uh, generator running right now, warming it up. Gonna start the motors here in a little bit, let them warm up, and I'll put put on over to the fuel dock. Eight o'clock right now. They don't open till nine. But I work here, so I guess I can do whatever the hell I want. So, but yeah, that's the plan for today, and uh, let's get after it. All right, we got everything running until she's cold today. Don't mind all this mess. I know I got to clean it up. So, next goal is to get that hose unhooked because, good God, it is seized on there, and I've been trying for a while. Yeah, we'll let these bad boys warm up for a bit. Figured I'd take her out one last time. It'll be the first time I've actually taken that out by myself. And of course I chose the day where the tide is the lowest. So let's hope I don't hit bottom. Taking her out for a quick spin here for a pinker for the winter. So, one last time till next next spring. Plan to get a lot of use out of it next year. Looking forward to it. A few moments later. Alright, just got her back in the slip. Got her pumped out. 
So yeah, now I get to start winterizing the motor. So I got a, thankfully the Marina's got a wagon that I think I'll be able to use. That it, I can sit there and press a button and it'll pump in the antifreeze. I got ignitions down in the engine room. So I ain't got to run up and down to the flybridge and all that stuff. So but I can just put the hose in, pump antifreeze. I have Alex out here to tell me when she starts spitting pink out the back and go from there. All right, got one motor winterized, got the generator winterized. And film it because it was a damn ordeal trying to get everything done. Couldn't get the motor to start. Turns out they got a weird trick where the key down here has to be in a certain position for the key up on top to work. And it took way too long for us to figure that out. And I'm kind of disappointed myself. But now the port motor is not taking any water. So we can't suck antifreeze into it. So I'm going to check the impellers real quick and see if that fixes this. Who the hell knows? Literally just drove it out into the bay without any problems. And it was pumping water then. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Alright. Got the old one. Which doesn't look like it's in bad condition at all. So I'm not quite sure why it's not pumping. Probably something stupid. But I'm also stupid and I don't understand. So I'm going to keep screwing around with it. Oh, well... I got the new impeller in and then I proceeded to shear all the heads of the bolts off on the seawater pump so I've made the problem worse so I'm pretty good at doing that kind of stuff so uh yeah I think I'm done for the day we'll tackle that another time I as much as I run heaters in here there ain't, ain't no way the motors are gonna freeze so but I don't know we'll figure it out I'm Today's my only day off this week, and I'm not trying to spend it getting frustrated. So I'm going to hang back, make myself some lunch, and uh, watch me some Yellowstone. So thanks for watching, and uh, as always, stay trashy.